Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm in the attractive Somerset village of Dunster today. I've just um, come here to have a quick look around because I've got a bit of time in between doing the West Somerset Railway. So this is the village centre. You can see the famous yarn market. We'll go to that soon. And there's also the uh, tower, the folly above the village, which we will also hopefully get to. But let's have a look up here. Because first I want to show you, there's some gardens and there's the old priory, which is now the parish church. So that's probably one of the most interesting things. Um, the other thing Dunstan is famous for, I've already mentioned it's got the West Somerset Railway. The station's about a mile away from the village, so as I said, it's not actually featuring in today's video. Although I have been on the West Somerset Railway, I then came here on the bus. The other famous thing Dunstan's famous for is behind me somewhere there, although we can't actually see it, is Dunster Castle. It's National Trust. It's well worth a visit. I have been there in the past. Um, you have to pre-book that at the moment, and I didn't have as long as I'd have liked, so I didn't really see the point. In going there today, I thought I'd go back at a time, you know, when I can perhaps spend a day there, and no doubt I'd love to make a video there, so, you know, watch this space. So as we come up here, there's some rather nice gardens here, the Dunster Village Gardens. So let's go and have a look at them, and then, oh, you coming through? And then we'll go and have a look at the church. So here we are in the gardens. So this is the Dunster Village Gardens. They're open. Let's have a look. I believe this will take us through to where the priory, or what there is of the priory. So if I pan round, you can see the tower. I'm not going to try and pronounce its name. It's on screen now because um, I've asked three different people how you pronounce it and they've all said a different pronunciation. So I think the best thing is I just don't say the name, but you can read it and um, you can pronounce it how you think. Well, look, this is a mulberry tree here. A bit early for the mulberries, um, but yeah, here we go around the mulberry bush. Hey, I'll let you can just see some there, still green, so um, not ready to eat. They have to be, they become very dark red before you can eat them. There's one that's a bit more ripe there, can you see that one? But it would still be very sour if you ate it now. The problem is with eating mulberries is um, the juice goes onto your fingers, and um, I always look like I've got blood on my hands every time I eat one, so um, yeah, perhaps best to leave them for today. There's the private church. That's where we're going to head to now. There's hollyhocks. Taller than me. And no doubt this wisteria probably looked very nice a couple of months ago. So once we go over the other side of that wall, well actually probably already we are in the grounds of the old Dunster Priory. I believe it's an old Benedictine Priory. I don't know too much about it. Because um, admittedly, but it was a bit of an unplanned visit. I was going on the West Somerset Railway, ended up at Dunster, so I thought might as well do a video here. And we come into here now, you can see the Tithe Barn there. That's part of the Priory, or would have been part of the Priory. And again, there's the Folly, which um, I'm going to try and walk up to. There's the church. So this is um, yeah, quite a big space in the middle of the village. So it is worth coming here, if you do want to come by train on the West Somerset Railway, if you're spending all down the West Somerset Railway, say if you're going from Bishop's Idiot to Dunster, you'd easily be able to get here on the train. It's, um, like I said, it's a bit of a walk, but it's worth it. There's the Tide Farm. And the other interesting feature is the dovecote here. It looks like we can actually go in, but look at that. I'm going to then head that way, down to the village. Oh, more nice gardens. Look at this little door. It looks like I can't go in, so let's go in. Oh, I see, so we, it's a small door. We go in, can't go any further than this, but have a look at that. You can see where all the doves would nest, um, but it doesn't look like there's actually any doves in there today. Let's go outside. And um, smells very nice, smell of lavender. And this garden. If I come to a garden like this, and I see a path going off. I'd have to go and see where it goes. I can never resist things, paths like this. So I've um, always find it fascinating to see the sweet gardens. I so this takes us up. I think it's a dead end, but we get quite a good view of the Tithe Barn. Yeah, it just ends here. So now let's go and have a look. We need to get round there to the church. We might catch a glimpse of the castle soon as well so like I said I will one day come here and do the castle there's also the mill and um, it's, it's, it's all very fascinating so you know that is, is also well worth visit the castle so let's go 
back out onto the road. There's the, the church. Let's see where this takes us. Some, some box hedging there. I'm kind of assuming this is going to take us round to the church. Admittedly, I'm kind of guessing my way now. And then from the church, I'm going to walk back into the village centre. We'll have a look at the old yarn market because that's kind of the pretty much famous image of Dunster. And then I'm going to attempt to go up to, to the tower. Right, what happens here? Okay, so that's probably the village school in front of me. And this looks like Glitch Gate into the Priory Church. So let's go from here and see what we can see. Okay, so believe me, the castle is up there. It's hidden behind the trees. If we can make it up to the tower, we'll probably get a view looking back across at the church. Well, no doubt when we even get to the yarn market, we'll see the, um, the castle towering above the vision. Just notice another interesting plant. This is called a medlar bush. It has these rather weird looking fruits. Now, you actually eat them when they go rotten. So you don't eat them like that. They're a bit sort of like pears, but they have this funny sort of end to them. Um, I've never tried, I've bitten into them um, when they're a bit more mature that, and they're not really very nice, but you, you can eat them, supposedly. Here's the private church. I can just see part of the castle estate. That building over there is probably the gatehouse. I do remember there being a couple of ruined bits in the castle as well. So, um, someone I'm saying I last visited there probably at least 15 years ago it was. It was on a school visit and I did go with my family when I was a child. So this is, um, so there's, right, we're going to go out one of them, those ways out back to the village. Have a look at the church, quite an impressive building. Let's go inside. I hope it's open. I expect it probably is. Yes, it's open. Uh, into the chair. So yeah, this was once part of the old priory. So it's, quite, it's quite warm. Sometimes it's cold when you go to churches. This one's quite warm. Got a lovely wood screen right across the front. Let's go. Um, let's go around this way first. As um, it looks like they do perhaps do teas on a summer Sunday. Second hand bookshop. Yeah, it looks like there's all tables laid out as if they were doing teas. And there's lots of postcards to buy and um, all sorts of things. Let's have a look in here. And we come through into the chancel and the altar. interesting church. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go outside, I'm going to walk back to the village and have a look at the yarn market and then we might go up to the tower. So from the church what I've done, I've circumnavigated the top of the village because we come to this view here which is a rather attractive view. There's the yarn market down there which we're going to go and have a look at and there above is the castle. So let's go down and see the yard market and then behind me somewhere up there is the tower I keep talking about so I go down this little alleyway. I always like these um, these parts you get you know these villages in the west country they always fascinate me but you never know where they're gonna quite take you to. So we come down here classic Volvo parked here that's the yard market so that's what we've come down here to have a look at. Oh, and by the way, this building here, this is the Yarn Market Hotel. So, as we come to here, this is the Yarn Market, so we can go inside and have a look. So you can see quite a fascinating 16th century market, and there's a picture. Well, yeah, that's in 1821, it says. So, yeah, the Yarn Market, 17th century, sorry, I said 16th century, 17th century Yarn Market. Have a look up at the ceiling. Yeah, quite a fascinating building. It's quite interesting how you can actually see all of, well, basically the loft and how roof is done from the inside. So what we'll do now, we're going to go back outside and take one last look at the village. And I'm going to try and, I haven't got that long, I've only got back now, so I've got to get the bus. I'm going to try and find my way up to the tower. 
So I'm now making my way up through the woods to the tower. But before I get to the tower, I found some more ruins. It must be part of it. Obviously, I don't know too much about this place. I know it's all a folly. Let's have a look up here. This is like another little turret here. It's all quite exciting. This is like another little ruin. Go around here. There's more of a grander entrance. So we'll have a look at this. So um, if I wanted to walk to Minehead, I could go that way. I have done that in the past. I once got the train from Minehead to Dunster, walked up to here, went back that way. So let's go through here. And then it looks like I've got quite a lot of steps to go up now to get to this tower. So yeah, there's another little turret there. So it's in the, just see that one in the trees, gatehouse, turret, and another archway. So quite a fascinating, mysterious place. But I've now got up all these steps to go and find the tower itself. Oh, it's been a bit of a walk up through the woods. Up quite a steep hill, but the gradient has now eased off. And there it is. The tower looms ahead. It looks like we probably can go inside. I did come up here a few years ago. Supposedly there was a secret passageway from here to the castle or secret tunnel. Um, sounds very sort of famous five-ish, doesn't it? But I think it's all been filled in, so I don't think it's going to be quite that exciting. It was worth the the climb up the steep hill for to have a look at so here it really is just the folly well that probably made quite a nice view from Dunster Castle so here we go here's a picture so if we could get on top we'd see what that painting shows the village and the castle down there let's go inside there and have a look so really it's just a big round tower Here's the big round tower. No floors. I can't see there was ever a staircase. There's certainly holes for there to have been a floor. But if there was a floor, it must have been wooden and it's rotted away. But I'm assuming you must have been able to have got on top because it's going by the picture. Let's go outside and um, have a look at the views. Or last look up. So let's see what we can find out here. Follow this slightly overgrown path around here. The village is down there, I was hoping we'd get a good view, but maybe not. Maybe to see the view we should come up here in the winter at some point. And um, it's a very overcast day today. Um, good job I'm not wearing shorts. Um, but the sea, yeah, sorry, can't even see the sea, but the sea is just out there. And so is, I can't even, I'm not going to try and get through there. So is the West Somerset Railway, for that matter. So, well, yeah, Dunster Castle. You might just be able to see the top of it. Not sure if the camera's picking it out. I can just see the Union flag flying on top of the tower. So, I think, a bit of an anticlimax. So I really did hope we'd see the village from up here. But I think that pretty much concludes this little adventure around Dunster. From the village up to the woods, up to this strange tower. I have to find my way down now get back on that bus so i hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching please do feel free to like subscribe and comment you know if you are having a trip on the west somerset railway do allow quite a long time allow longer than i did but it is worth coming to see and so is on the other hill over there dunster castle so thank you very much from the tower above dunster goodbye